learning to let go of the past is really important. Like some people I don't think realize how important it is to sometimes just let things go. All your life, people are going to hurt you. People are going to disappoint you. And you're going to do the same thing to other people. It's inevitable. You are going to hurt people. You are going to let people down. No matter what. And people are going to do the same thing to you. But if you hold it against everyone and you don't learn how to let things go, you're going to lose a lot of friends, lose a lot of friendships. You're going to have relationships that never actually evolve and become anything that they should be able to become. Like, all relationships have a rough point. And you have to push through that to prosper in that relationship. It's just like falling in love. If you fall in love and you hold everything that everyone else has done to hurt you and make you not feel okay, and you put that on that person and you think that they're going to be the same, then you're never going to let them love you the way that they could. And in return, you're never going to love them the way that you should. Because you're always going to be thinking about how this person hurts you from a long ago. Now, learning from your lessons from the past is monumentally important. Like, all these wrong things that you do in your life, you should learn from them. And that is so important to learn from the things that you've done wrong. But you have to know when to draw the line and to let it go and be like, wow, I learned my lesson. I've, I've completed what I need to know from what I did. And I need to try and stop feeling bad about it. I need to let this go. I need to let this part of my past go. I learned my lesson and now I'm going to ready to move forward as a better person. And being able to do that is very important because it stops you from falling into depression. It stops you from falling into these traps within your mind. Because once you fall into these traps, you get stuck thinking, oh, I should have done that. Oh, I should have done this. And you know, it's healthy to do that for a period of time. But once you start thinking about all these possibilities of things that could have been, you think, wow, I could have had this. Wow, I could have had that. And then you sit there and then you don't go out and you don't look for more. You don't get more because you don't look for more. If you stop yourself, in fact, you're the only one who will stop yourself from reaching happiness. Happiness is not a destination. It is a state of mind. It is a being within yourself. Happiness is nowhere else besides within you. You can be happy anywhere. You just have to find the happiness within yourself. And you have to be able to bring it out. Because no one, no one else is going to do it for you. I mean, it's nice to have a relationship. It's nice to be in love. But if you do not love yourself, that relationship is going to be very difficult. If you do not love yourself, if you haven't learned to let things go, and if you hold out resentment towards the person you're with for all these past mistakes that other people have done, then it's probably not going to work. That relationship is probably going to fail because you're always going to want something from them or you're always going to be expecting something from them that's different than what they are willing to give. And, you know, nobody's perfect, and some people should not be together. I mean, that's very true. Some people should not be together. I think most people are capable of loving anybody. But being in love and being in a relationship and actually being together, I don't know if too many people should actually do that. Like, I mean, (laughs) that's not the way I mean it. Uh... I feel like that everyone should try to find someone to fall in love with and to be with. And I think those interpersonal relationships are, you know, a part of growing up and part of finding happiness for a lot of people. I know a lot of people are fine being like single or uh, polyamorous and that's fine. You know, everyone has a different journey 
And you got to decide what journey you want because no matter who you are, you could probably find someone. As long as you open yourself up to the opportunity to find someone, you have to go out. You have to meet people. Like sometimes you have to change what your expectation of a relationship really is. Because all relationships are different. No two relationships could be the same. And, you know, Disney, <laughs> Disney has screwed up so many people's heads. Because everyone one wants this perfect storybook relationship. But there's no such thing. It is a fantasy. That's why it's a movies. These are movies. Yeah, they, they save everyone. Someone comes in, they save the princess. The princess and them fall in love and it's happily ever after. But, you know... The movies don't show any scenes after that or the reality of what it's like to be with someone for a long period of time. Because people change. You change. Everyone is constantly growing. You are changing as a person right now. Even as we speak.